Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily readings on Friday the 1st of November. It's November the 1st. It's nearly Christmas. How is this happening? I have absolutely no idea how it's happening, but we are here and we are now. And that's what we've got to deal with, right? I'm Helen from Self Lost Self Care System and I'm going to be doing your daily readings today from the original Right Away Tarot deck, conceived by A. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So without further ado, I'm going to get our energy at the day card. I hope you all had a lovely Halloween yesterday if you celebrated it. Or a problem. Okay, that's not how many we're having for a problem, is it? It's loads, there's about six there. Our problem if there is one and a solution. So let's see what our Friday wants to bring us. Let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, for our energy of the day card, we have the King of Swords. Okay, there's been a little bit of a theme this week and it's been about relationship and it's also about cutting cords and clearing things that are not good for you, right? The angels were talking a lot about some relationships are not healthy, some people don't behave in the right way. They were also talking about the fact that this this cut, there's been pain, there's been pain. There's been some kind of upset or not feeling happy or not feeling safe almost with these 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 relationships or how things are playing out and needing to literally fight your corner which is obviously isn't great now but the energy of today is being able to fight your corner in a strength position you you don't you're not fighting because let's let's think back to our readings before and if you haven't seen them do check out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays because you're not in a fighting space anymore you don't need to fight anymore but what this is saying to me is there's some kind of transformation being thought through you're transforming what was so that you can be the sovereign being there's no more rubbish crap basically you're not going to take it anymore you're done with it you're going to hold your sword up and you're going to say if i have to fight you will but i'm not actually interested in this anymore so what this card actually brings with the energy is the energy of transmutation transformation alchemical there's an alchemy to it. You're changing your position. You're changing who you are now. Now, it, there's a new beginning highlighted here as well. Um, this king wants to support you. So you'll be going to feel supported by someone or something, possibly. Or it could be your own energy that goes into this and becomes supportive of you, right? You're going to feel that on a high level. There's also a higher perspective. You're able to see something from a better perspective, a better vantage point. So whatever started out this week that was a little bit un... Because you weren't feeling good. You were not, if you were in, especially if you were in the problem. Not so much if you weren't in the problem. But if you were in the problem, you may have been feeling unheard. You were feeling physically unwell. You weren't feeling fit. You weren't feeling good. You were feeling hurt. And this card here says that you can now see it from a different perspective. There's something else that you needed to see. Now, I think that for some of you, and the angels are saying it's quite key, some of you are going to make some choices. There's going to be some decisions that you need to make because you're not happy about how many how this can hand out. You're not, you're not, you didn't like it. But the angels are saying to me to say to you that you it's okay, you're you're good, you're good. You found what you will need, you understand what you need. You know you can transform things if you want to. You know that's your in your power. It's in your prowess. You're able to do that, right? And you're you're able to to stand up for yourself here. This is what this is about. You're able to stand up for yourself. You're able to say, I won't put up with this anymore. Stop doing this. This is you. This is coming from over there. It's not here in my space. I didn't bring this. And you're able to now say, I'm sovereign, I'm strong, I'm capable. I won't have this. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I don't want this. My boundary is here. It's not there where you think that where, where it's being put. It's here. And it's having your own boundaries, having your own strength, and knowing what you'll put up with and what you won't. And that's kind of what this card's about. But it's, but I want to tell you, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy for the day. Because it's about you being strong and in your strength energy. And almost like the, the, um, the Major Arcana Strength card. You are that strong. You're in that powerhouse. Um, it's linked into cardinal signs. I'm getting cardinal signs for you. And the leadership energy that you lead from the front. And you don't allow others to push you around. And tell you when and how you should speak. Or what you should say even. There's a lot of this going on. And 
it's a real strength you and it's just it's a, a testament to you that you are in this strength because of what you've been through already up until now and through your life even you're being stronger now and you're able to say what you really mean and what you really feel and you won't put up with anything anymore because that's what this card shows you're not going to put up with anything that you don't need to now let's have a look at the problem there is no problem do you know what's so beautiful this is the card we already had it is the nine of pentacles this is the energy that you're you've been working towards all week this is who you already are you're already this person you're already temperate you, it's, it's part of that temperance energy that we also had you're already peaceful calm joy you are it you're already it do not let others stop you from being the person that you are which is kind and loving and generous and warm don't allow this bullying and bullish nasty noisy behavior to upset your apple cart just because they don't have the decency to behave with decorum and with some respect do not let other people do that. And if you find that some people cannot behave in good ways, then you need to ask yourself, what are you doing in the company of these kinds of people if they can't behave in good ways, if they keep using things and hanging them over you and bringing up the same things about what they do and how they're so much better in some ways than, say, you are maybe. There's a lot of this going on here because this card here says you had to fight so for your rights, you've had to fight to show who you truly are, which is this. This is what you are. It's all good. No problem. No problem. You're good. You're fine. You're okay. Whatever came through was energy and vibration of other people upsetting your core, your peace, your love, your space. Okay? Yeah? Okay, if you did get this far, please do give me a thumbs up. I'd be so, so super grateful. I'm always super grateful for thumbs ups. I really are. They're so cute. And do, do some comments. I love comments. Where are my comments? Tell me how you found it. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what's going on with you. Did this give you any resonance? The cards don't always resonate with you. Sometimes the angel vibration is just the thing you need to hear or feel. Or maybe there's something they're bringing in through my vibration that you need to connect into. And take that and use that through your day to give you power, to give you strength, to make you stronger, to help you vibe in the right way. Yeah? Maybe that's what you need. That's what's being brought to you, right? Um, yeah, and that's kind of what they're saying. Also, if you did get this far, do check out my website. You can check out www.selfloveselfcaresystem.com. I do offer healings or readings and anything else that you might need for your journey. And do feel free to email me if you have questions about anything. Now, let's see what our final card is. It's not a solution to the problem because there was no problem. So let's see what the angels want to tell us as our extra message. Hmm not recognizing what you have here we've had this card we have this card many times um it's not a problem it's the seven of pentacles it's a very lucky card and they just have actually brought it in for a specific message they said that you're fed up you're fed up with it or you're just fed up you've had enough you've, you've really really had enough um and i do feel for you because i can see that as i look in what the angel's giving me they're saying that you tried you're going through your own stuff others don't seem to realize they expect too much of you when you're going through your own shit basically and rubbish and um you know it's like you you really 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 want to revise this and this is a lucky break this is kind of this luck you want to you want to encompass what that luck is and you want to vibrationally um just connect into it and just understand it and know it and by by being in that energy because this is kind of not having enough here but, but but what i'm getting from the angels is you're you're you're, you're, you're fed up you're sad you're sad and you're sick of the way people behave you're sad and you're sick of the way that it's almost like you're sweeping up the rubbish and people keep behaving in these old ways. What patterns are you mirroring outside of yourself that keep coming back to you? What patterns are be, keep being reflected back at you? Is it because you, you had a low self-worth or low sense of self that you're attracting people that have that, that don't need to be in your energy field anymore? Maybe you're done with these kind of energies. Maybe you're done with these kind of people. Maybe you've had it. And then if that's that, then that's that. But, you know, you, you do deserve to have a good life. You do deserve this. 
as your alternate feeling. Feeling in grace, enjoying in that kind of warm space where you're loved and you're happy and you're guided. And you also deserve to be the one that holds your sovereign self. You're the sovereign person. You're the master of your... No one's the master of your ship. Just you. You're the master of your ship. Just you. Not anyone else. No one gets to tell you who you should be or how you should react so that they don't have to deal with the things that they may have done wrong or that they may have said. It's, it's kind of... There's a very strong energy in this week of relationship testing and pushing you or not vibing well with you. And there's a very strong level of not quite understanding what you're seeing around what's happening. Now, look, remember, with all these readings, they may not resonate with you because you may be in a different kind of weak space or maybe you've shifted your energy out of the energy that we're in right now. That's a good thing. And then you'll pick it up when you're ready to. And when you pick it up again, the angels will bring in what you really, really need to know. But for this week, they're talking about you releasing your attachment to people that are not good for you, recognizing what your boundaries are and stopping yourself constantly being attracted to people who just don't respect or care enough about you to treat you in a way that you deserve. Because that isn't going to work for you anymore. That's not going to work. And one day or one morning, you're going to wake up and you're going to have to walk away from all of this if you don't see it in time. So you either correct it, heal it, work through it, or you be done with it. But have your boundaries in place and tell people what you won't put up with. Tell people what you will put up with so you can be in this space. Because this is where you want to be, in that loving, warm aspect, feeling joyous, having a life that you enjoy and love. So there you go, my lovelies. That is your reading for Friday, the 1st of November. Do check out the videos if you're interested and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I may be doing the angel um, channel message. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I may be. Um, and maybe you'll be getting that on Saturday. If you're interested, do check it out if it's there. If not, it might be something else. And yeah, have a beautiful weekend and I will speak to you soon. And namaste everyone. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.